Hi guys, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can 3 star the new Judo Sloth challenge nice and easily. We're going to check out a replay in just a moment. Before we do, just a really quick reminder that on this channel we've got something called a creator code. A creator code is where you can help support your favourite content creator in-game by using their code before making any purchases. Our code is code Moose. It's easy to enter that code. There's a C emblem in the top right hand corner in the shop. If you just click on that, thank you very much. Any support would be amazing. You do need to renew it once a week. Anyway, yes, back to the replay. I found the easiest way of doing this was a good old-fashioned spam attack. So first of all, I want you to select the Grand Warden and deploy him just to the right-hand side of the mortar. As soon as he's taken out the mortar, then deploy a witch to the right-hand side of the Grand Warden, then get ready with a headhunter. As soon as those skeletons distract the enemy heroes, send in your headhunter to help take out the enemy heroes, the king and queen. There is a clan castle troop that's come out. I've totally forgotten the name of that clan castle troop. Uh, but anyway, they're going to get taken out in just a moment. Beautiful. You can relax now, guys. You can maybe go to the shop, uh, go for a walk, make a cup of tea. I'm joking. We need to concentrate. But yes, you can just relax for a moment. Your grand warden. And don't worry if your Electro Owl gets taken out either, guys. Uh, but yes, then send in your Super Wall Breaker to uh, destroy that wall segment to the right-hand side of the Multi Inferno. And then, guys, as soon as that Dark Elixir Collector is taken out, we're going to start the spam attack. We're going to send in absolutely everybody next to the Grand Warden. Now, I am sort of waiting to take out the Clan Castle as well. You don't need to. Uh, but here we go. Peckers, airborne units, squirrels, every, not squirrels, I'm joking. Everybody gets sent in now. And then it's just about trying to distract those single target infernos. Use the Grand Warden ability when you sort of feel like you get the most value out of it. There we go. And then remember, you can use a lightning spell to reset single target inferno towers. You can use that skeleton spell to distract them. You can use the bat spell to distract them as well. And guys, it's down to luck now. You, you, this might take you several attempts. It might fail miserably or it might work out like this where everything just comes together beautifully. The queen, what you really ideally want her to do is move upwards in that one segment there and take out those other inferno towers. So this is looking really good, guys. It did take me a couple of attempts and I found attacking from the right-hand side here was the best option. As you can see, guys, how quick was that? Uh, we're nearly done. There we go. Perfect. 100%. And like I said, guys, just being totally honest, it might take you a few attempts. Let me know how you get on in the video comments. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And congratulations to Judo Sloth for reaching 1 million subscribers. See you later, guys. Bye.